Ahoy hoy, and welcome to a new feature I'm trying out. Uh, you may have remembered last week I did an interview with the art director of SCP Secret Laboratory. Today, I am doing an interview with Tenhoney, author of Bobble the Clown, and perhaps more recently, and more recognizable even, SCP-5000. I was listening to some of the comments from the last video about my rather impassive uh, nature whilst the... Uh, interviewee was answering questions and I thought I would uh, test out a variety of different formats so this is actually more of a conversational interview it's not like me talking to somebody about you know uh, a particular thing they want to promote necessarily although Tanhoney has an SCP uh, YouTube channel which I will provide you a link to in the description below to a specific video I think something about how to write SCPs and um what I'll do is I'll link you to that so you can go to his channel and you can watch that video and subscribe if you'd like. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you a, a kind of condensed version of the uh, discussion that we had. And then probably on Thursday, I will just release a mostly unedited full interview. So if you like this kind of content, let me know and let's get started. So uh, now we're sitting down with Tan Honey author of SCP-5000, Bobble the Clown, and uh, a pro I think it's approximately 128 other articles on the SCP wiki? It's near that, I think. I'm not it might be like 124 other ones. Um, yeah, 128 in yeah, total, you, yeah. You recently moved up to fourth place on the uh, total articles list, which is the only list that really matters. <laughs> quantity over quality, I guess, but hopefully there's a bit of quality. Well, to be fair, that's really quantity over recency, right? Because like, the quality of work is not necessarily reflected in its in its uh, rating. It's just how old is it? Yeah, there is a bit of that, inevitably. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, welcome to the uh, channel. Uh, second of all, I'd like to say, how dare you, and what gives you the right? You have to be more uh, specific. <laughs> I've done a lot so, of stuff. <laughs> I was, I've been chasing after uh, the top five of the uh, by total article count for a little while now, and here you are just blowing right past it. I just, uh, it's so annoying. So annoying to watch. But at the same time, I mean, at least you're creating mostly good works. You know, there's actually a meme, because I don't know if you know this, but I do uh, dank memes from Site19 yeah, watch videos from time to time. Yeah, I've seen a few. Yeah. There's this meme going around every once in a while, and, and a lot of people have said this. this. This has happened with various videos I've done. Like, people think that I care a lot about the D-class terminations thing. Hmm. Uh, one of the memes going around is that they think I hate SCP-5000. Right. <laughs> I am. Uh, because I keep saying... Because, you know, because I believe my exact line was, who the fuck cares? But <laughs> rather than why, you know, why? Who the fuck cares? Uh, but let's talk a little bit about SCP-5000. I think that's a good starting point, since I believe that's your most popular word uh, currently. It is right now, yeah, which is a bit uh, surreal. <laughs> As you said, you, yeah, you thought, mm, I thought it would be Bobble forever, pretty much. What? You thought it would be Bobble, I was about to say. You thought Bobble the Clown would be your legacy for the SCP Wiki, didn't you? Yeah, I did. So let's talk a little bit about SCP-5000. What, what, what went into? What was the idea, the genesis of that article? Well, it was sort. Of, it was sort of just that very general concept all started from like, what if the Foundation turned against humanity, and then I just sort of built, add, added on to that, sort of built on sort of. I'm not being the most eloquent here, but it was all about. There's a few ideas mainly. So it was the Foundation turning against humanity, and it's also the mystery theme. I wanted to sort of do a mystery from the point of view. Of someone who never really had a chance of solving it, like like it's better said at the near the end, the victim in the murder mystery. Uh, and I also wanted it to make a mystery that the audience could maybe solve, even if the characters in it couldn't. I, I, and I don't know how successful I was with all of that, but people <clears> liked <throat> it, I guess. So it's a CP five thousand now. Yeah, you hid shit in uh, the fine. I think. Uh, somewhere near the bottom of the article and every time i'm like i don't really because i mean i do have an opinion on it yeah, it's that I, uh, I think my opinion is that uh it's it's a good art it's an okay article but i don't really i don't i don't i was surprised to find it made it as the scp 5000 that not that it was a bad article but i'm surprised that it was the most popular of all of the possible it took options. me by surprise as well because it was it was weirdly ahead by quite a big lead i don't know what really contributes to that because 
I think um, 5001 was second place. That's really good as well. Mm. So I'm not sure what. Which one was 5001? Uh, that one's Sacrosanct by uh, Yossi Posse. But I, just like I'm saying, I'm not sure exactly what separated Y from the other articles, though, that was gave it to that large it metric. Wearing... It, it it was definitely memeier, and I'm not saying that as yeah. like it's a bad thing. Oh, it was easier mean. to share, right? <laughs> that fucking me that was on thank me from site nineteen for like a week of just yeah. this is a communication from the O five Council. Well, I mean, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, mm. but the, the the a lot of people, a lot of authors don't get this, I think, and like they'll be confused. The, uh, not on the outside looking in, not necessarily like you, where you're confused why your thing is doing so well, but they'll be on the outside going, why is this doing so much better than my stuff? And I'm like, well, if it's more easily shareable, yeah, it's more likely to get popular. Because the quality is, you you meet a minimum level of quality, and then after that, it's how to, easily can you get people to read yeah, it? Yeah, something to latch on to. It's all about attention, yeah, really, people. I guess, because they can't vote unless they read it. Yep. I mean, I'm not, and that's not to say that, you know, a certain high quality isn't necessary for things to get high rated, but mm. it's not the only factor. It's the best way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of authors don't get that, but after you've written 120 articles or so, it starts to become pretty apparent. And I say that as somebody else who's written 120 articles, even haven't written as many as you. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like with the uh, Garfield SCP as well. Oh yeah! Which, despite how much I uh, may not want it to, it has become the Gorefield SCP at this point. <laughs> I have yet to read it, but I've definitely uh, seen it on the internet many, you see, many you've times. Seen a giant spider Garfield, I imagine. Uh, that's not what it is. That's the image that's been attached to it because people want to write Gorefield memes, and there's an SCP that's Garfield, so it's very convenient, I imagine. <laughs> But it isn't a giant spider Garfield monster. It's just a guy in a Garfield suit. Yeah. Well, you've done uh, more than just that at this point. You're starting a YouTube channel, aren't you? Uh, yes, very recently. I've been ha- keeping it going for a while. Just put this podcast I've been doing on it, but I've started to do a few more shorter videos outside the podcast as well. Is it still just a podcast? I mean, I know you're saying doing other videos, but is it still like the primary purpose of your channel, just podcasting? Uh, mostly for the moment, yeah. I'm going to try and sort of do more diverse content there, see what people like. But the podcast is something I enjoy doing, so that's always going to be there, I think. Because yeah, What's the uh, topic of the podcast? So uh, the podcast is called Discovering SCP. It's me and um, one of my friends named Darnell. And Darnell doesn't know that much about SCP, so I've basically been going through the articles chronologically, so in sort of the order that I think best shows off the universe, just sort of getting his reactions, his opinions on articles that are sort of really old now, but he's reading them for the first time. Well, that actually is an interesting way to look at it because, it, you know, introducing new people to the SCP wiki is like the whole purpose of secondary media for me. Right, yeah. Like, hey, look at this. Look at this. It's the SCP wiki. Yeah. And it's not, it's not what everyone tells you it is. <laughs> The data expunged the censoring memes. There's more to it. Uh, you know what? That's that's related to another concept, and we'll get back to your channel in just a second. But yeah, do you right. think of the SCP Wiki as more uh, horror or science fiction or uh, contemporary fantasy? Well, I think in any given article, it can be any of the three, or maybe a combination. Um, and I think sort of the underlying genre does shift over time. Uh, we started off as horror, of course, and there was a bit of weird right. sort of comedy in there. Then all, a lot of fantasy elements, sci-fi elements got started. And, and at this point, we can pretty much do anything with an SCP article within reason, I should say. <laughs> but it's a lot broader than Series 1, for example. Yeah. I feel like Series 2 is when things started going, taking more of a sci-fi bent. There's a, there was a little bit of it in Series 1, but Series 2 really started to... To, like take it in a sci-fi direction yeah especially scp 2000 i think that's not series that's the sort of either end of series two or beginning of series three that's sort of the mm-hmm. zenith of the sci-fi i can personally sort of oh yeah comprehend well series three did it too yeah. by a lot there's a lot of science fiction in series three mm. probably why it's my favorite but yeah 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you really want to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including SCP-6277, who has pledged at $50 a month, Vivi, who has pledged at $40 a month, Lawful Evil, who has pledged at $40 a month, and probably a wizard and definitely not a scientist, who has also pledged at $40 a month. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.